So let's get started. Today I'm going to talk about bleach, using bleach to clean mold and why maybe that's not a good idea. Hello, my name is Cheryl Seco, avoidingmold.com. I'm the founder and our licensed architect who specializes in water damage, mold, and healthy buildings. So bleach has been listed in a lot of documents by the EPA, by the American Wood Council for Cleaning Wood, and a lot of government agencies and, and, and um, product manufacturers actually mention using bleach. Most of this information has been outdated and is no longer recommended. It doesn't mean that it wasn't recommended at one time. The EPA did recommend using bleach at one time, but they've updated their advice wisely and they no longer recommend that. Some of these other websites or, or organizations are, are following information that they got long ago and they haven't noticed that there's been a change. So when the EPA changes their recommendations, they don't put a flag up and say, yeah, we made a mistake and we don't recommend what we used to recommend. <laughs> And so we end up with these uh, these remedies that are actually unsafe being passed down over the years because they haven't been researched again for the updates. So bleach is highly toxic in and of itself. Bleach itself is about 97% water and 3% hydrosodium chloride, which is the toxic part. The bad news about that is that the bleach component, which is only 3% of what's in a product or in a, in a gallon of bleach, evaporates very quickly. The water does not. When that bleach evaporates out of the water very quickly, it does nothing to the mold spores in the air. The mold spores are actually feeling threatened and, um, and they're going into the air and they're now looking for wet places to land. Well, the area has just been wet with the water component of the bleach and the bleach is evaporating out of it so quickly that there's there's not a lot of cleaning going on. So while the surface may look clean because you've used bleach, usually bleach is soaking in to porous materials and drenching the roots of whatever it was that you removed on the surface that now looks clean, but those roots have gotten a big drink of water and they're gonna come back bigger and better than they were in the past. So know that many, many of our building materials are porous. That means they absorb water. Wood, concrete, brick and masonry, all are porous and absorb water. So that means they will be soaking in the water. You might clean the surface with the bleach, but the bleach is now evaporating. It's actually very toxic for human beings to be breathing and it does nothing to the mold in the air. The mold spores that are flying around the air uh, panicking because uh, they're being attacked, now have lots of wet places to land and the, the roots of the mold that might have been removed on the surface are getting a great big drink of water. So that's a reason to not use bleach for cleaning on any kind of porous surface. Wood, drywall is another porous surface. Concrete, brick and masonry are all porous. They absorb water and they are not a good place to use bleach. So use other options. Uh, there are quite a few, and I, I talk about them in, in a variety of places. Check out my website, avoidingmold.com, to see what other things that I do suggest. I always suggest non-toxic solutions that won't harm the person using them and won't leave a residual off-gassing smell that could harm people over time. So keep that in mind. We don't want to harm people with the products that we're using to actually remove something that's already harmful. So I hope this is helpful on, on not using bleach. So anybody who's recommending that may be a good person. They may be very smart. They're just following outdated information. And check out my blog post on that topic to learn more. I'm Cheryl Seco at avoidingmall.com. I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe. For more free information on safe building, avoiding mold, and water damage, visit avoidingmold.com.